Steve Grantley. Yeah. Uh, welcome. Yeah. How are you? you. I'm, How's I'm it going? How are you, mate? Tell me, RTZ, what's it about? Well, I started RTZ with John Magna about 12 years ago. And uh, because I was in Stiff Little Fingers and The Alarm, I didn't really have enough time to give it, to do it justice. But now I'm not in The Alarm anymore, it's given me a chance to actually focus on doing my own thing. Yeah. Um, but it wasn't only that, it's, uh, about two years ago, I had a whole bunch of things happen all at the same time. Um, my dog died, which <laughs> don't sound that important, but my dog died, my dad died, my girlfriend left me, and I, and I parted company with the alarm, yeah. all within a three-month period. Yeah. And it just left me devastated, the whole thing. I mean, the death of my father was bad enough, but everything else piled on top. It just really did my head in. It really just killed me, you know. What brought you through that? Well, it was actually sitting there with a guitar and writing some songs and pouring my heart out about my dad dying and my girlfriend going, because I loved her dearly. Um, I wrote these songs and I thought, hold on a minute, just as a way of getting it out, just a way of like venting your spleen or, you know, like cathartic. And I just thought, actually, when I sort of sat back, I thought, actually, not bad. And they're a bit personal to give to Stiff Little Fingers and I thought, I've demo, demo them myself. Yeah. So I called Jonesy and said, do you fancy working on some demos with me? And he said, yeah, old mate of mine, great guitar player. He comes down, we start working on the demos and straight away it clicked and he's like, this is really good. And before we knew where we were, we decided we were going to do an album. It's like, let's do an album. These are too good to leave on a shelf or just write for like your personal entertainment, yeah. as it were. Yeah. So that's what we did. And we went into the studio, Blue Moon Studios in Banbury, which was near me. Um, and we started recording the album. Wow. And that was about, it took about, on and off, mixing and recording, it took about two years. You've been beating the hell out of drum kits for 20 years. I mean, have you had these songs inside you? Well, actually, no, it wasn't, not really, not really, the, I, I didn't really have to sort of, because I've written stuff for Stiff Little Fingers and I wrote stuff with Mike, you know. Yeah. And, um, with uh, Mike Peters. With Mike Peters oh, yeah, from yeah, The Alarm. Yeah, yeah. And, and so, uh, and I was always doing stuff with RTZ and like, like putting songs aside and ideas aside and lyrics aside. And then when I had nothing else, I had, you know, there was no girlfriend to go out with, there was no dog to walk, you know, I was still in grief over my dad, there was no alarm to go on the road with, yeah. so when I wasn't on the road with Stiff Little Fingers, I was sitting there writing me songs, and it really, it was the songs actually grew out of that period, really? it was like suddenly I really had a lot to say, I, I, and I needed, I needed to express myself, I think. I mean, what does it feel like to be the boss? Um, well, I don't really see it as a boss. See, a lot of people have said that, oh, you know, you're almost having like a career change. And it, from the outside, it seems like that. But to me, it's just another job in the group. And uh, there's a lot of responsibility. I now feel for people like Mike and Jake who have those <laughs> responsibilities. And now I'm going, oh, yeah, this is yeah, what yeah. it's like. Now yeah. I get it. You know, just trying yeah, to get four yeah. guys in a room yeah. together yeah. to rehearse is bad yeah. enough, you know. Yeah. And God, you know, God knows what it was like for Mike when you've, you've got me and then suddenly I go, I can't do that to a Mike. So yeah. I completely understand yeah. where he was coming from. If I'd have been Mike, I'd have sacked me years ago. <laughs> uh, tell me, how did you find the band? Who, who are they? Right, okay. And where did you find them? Right, well... Uh, Jonesy, the guitar player, I first met him when I was in, in Colour Sound with Billy Craig and, uh, and Mikey. Yeah. And, uh, and so that's when Steve first started working with us. Any, so I'm yeah. turned the bass player. He's in a band called Apple Shift 7. Right. They've supported Stiff Little Fingers quite a few times. We've okay. become friends. Yep. He used to work at a music shop that I used to go to. We became mates. I got him on the tour. Uh, Simon knows Benji Reed, the, right. the, the drummer that we've got now. And Benji's great, comes from America. And wow. uh, yeah, so that's how we all got together. I, I, I feel for the lad being on the kit. Your ears are wired to a drum kit. Yeah. So I mean, there's a lot of responsibility on that young lad's shoulders. Yeah, I know, so, he can get on with it. I'm just making sure I get yeah. the calls right. It's going to be intriguing to see the way the fans, um, you know, particularly SLF fans and Alarm fans, embrace this new Steve Grantley uh, alter ego. Yeah, I mean, so I don't see it. I can understand that from the outside. It does look like that. But it, from, from the inside, like I said before, it's just another job. Like, I did do an RTZ performance at the Gathering, Gathering 10, in about 2001 to something. Was something that like the that one time. with the big glasses? Yeah, with the big glasses and all yeah, that stuff. Yeah, and me yeah. and John, we had yeah. a lot of stuff on backing tape. Yeah. But I have done it before. You know, yeah. we did some gigs yeah. in Derby and various yeah. places. So yeah. I'm, I am... I'm kind of used to being yeah. up the front, but that's we had backing tapes, and that's yeah. slightly different to having a drummer. And yeah. suddenly you've got a full kicking rock and yeah. roll band. But that's what I wanted. I wanted to have 
a yeah. dirty rock and roll band. Uh, tell me the name, where did it originate? Uh, but actually, I was talk talking to Jonesy today about it. It's on, well, on recorders, on tape recorders and on digital recorders and stuff, you have a, an RTZ button, which is a return to zero. When I was in the studio originally with, with John Magnew, who was originally in the band, yeah. um, we were looking for a name. And, uh, and he said, you know what, I've always liked RTZ. And I went, that's perfect. That's brilliant. But what I've done is, is I've put the word Z because yeah, that's people, what I like. A lot of people, yeah, and it's kind of British. It's memorable. It's kind of British. It's and memorable. I, and, and I also am a big Led, Led Zeppelin fan. Yeah. It's got a bit of a, 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 a nod to Zeppelin. Yeah. Steve, great talking to you, Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Andrew, fella. Great to you. All the best, mate. Cheers, fella.